Want to know what it's like to commute through New York City on a B-scooter like the Nami Bernie? Stay tuned because that's exactly what we're doing on today's Commute to Work Ride Vlog episode. Good morning, everyone. This is Ivan, and welcome back to the Ivan Rides YouTube channel. We're gonna be doing a one-way commute from Queens to Manhattan, and we're also only gonna have the first-person perspective. The reason is, if you follow me on Instagram and if you follow me here on YouTube, uh, in the Communities tab, you know that the X3 recently fell off my helmet mount, so it is in the hands of the capable people at Insta360. So hopefully, by the time this episode comes out, the Insta360 will be on its way back. So as you guys can tell, the roads are wet again because it feels like we've had two weeks of rain. Uh, or has it been three weeks of just rain? I, I, I've lost track because it just feels like every day I'm riding on wet roads. It's, it's pretty crazy. And as you can also see, we have a new uh, side mirror set up here. I hope you guys like it. The uh, really cheap uh, Amazon mirrors really did its thing. However, I was having problems with them going at speed. So because they're so cheap and they are made of basically plastic and rubber, the mirrors kept like swinging up. So I finally stopped being cheap and picked up some nice mirrors here. So I am going to ride with these for a little bit and then if I like them, I'll let you know. They are the uh, Kemi Motos. They make the round ones for the Super 73, but these are a little bit wider so that it'll help me get a bit of a better view when I'm riding on the scooter. So 2023 is upon us. Do you have any New Year's resolutions that you'd like to share? So if so, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Let me know what you're planning on doing for the 2023 New Year. If you've got any uh, special New Year's resolutions. For me personally, uh, <laughs> I just don't want to be so damn mad at people in my building all the time. For those of you guys that have been with the channel since the beginning, you know I have a pretty rocky relationship with some of the residents of my building because they're not exactly fans of my scooter and my e-bike. The other day, I had an argument again with one of the residents in my building because she was like, are you even allowed to have those things? And of course, me being a representative of the community, I wanted to make sure I answered with intelligence and with some facts to help her along. Now, I responded with, yes, it is an electric stand-up scooter that is within legal regulations of New York City. So, we are good to go. I put in a lot of effort into maintaining my battery's health and I also make sure I don't charge it unattended because that's the usual cause of fires here in New York City. But of course, some people just don't want to hear any of it. So, angry lady 
was like, no, it's illegal and you people shouldn't be allowed to do whatever you want. I'm used to my fair share of microaggressions. And that, you people, woo <laughs> almost set me off. So, I kind of snapped back a little bit, told her to do some homework before opening your mouth, some, something along those lines. But of course, you know, I still understand that this is my neighbor. I want to have at least cordial or an amicable relationship with one of my neighbors. So I wasn't rude at all. But she kept coming after me. And it was really irritating because I was just like, lady, unfortunately, I don't have the luxury of staying at home all day like you because you're retired. So, like I said, at the end of the day, it was after work, dealing with people all day. I just kind of left it there and walked away because there are just times where people just want to say what they want to say and they don't really care to hear about your perspective nor do they even care to be educated on it now I'm, I'm not saying that everyone in my building is like this this is a small vocal minority that makes riding in my building miserable everyone thinks the commute is the stressful part of riding in New York City it's not a it's dealing with the people in your building if they're not exactly fans of it that make it a miserable riding experience because those that 30 seconds that you spend arguing with a neighbor is the one that you remember because it they're literally trying to ruin your day but I also do understand their perspective I get that people are worried about the battery fires trust me I don't want to lose all of my physical possessions in a fire that's why we take the necessary precautions we educate ourselves in order to be able to stay as safe as possible. So if you made it this far into the video, thank you for accompanying me on this morning's commute. And thank you for listening to my rant. <laughs> I know the topic might be a little heavy, but thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you like this type of video, please consider giving it a thumbs up as it really helps the channel gain more exposure out there. Leave a comment down below if you want to chime in on this craziness of dealing with your crazy neighbors about electric vehicles. Or let me know if you've experienced your own share of passive aggressive comments from people in your building or in your neighborhood about you owning a personal electric vehicle. And if you really like this content, please consider giving the channel a sub. I would love to have you as part of the family and I'm looking forward to eventually chatting with you. As this commute comes to a close because we are now getting to work, I just kind of want to share my final thoughts on the situation. 
I know that it's tough being part of the alternative transportation group, especially because like this guy is going the wrong way and New York City is famous for its hooligan riding style. I, I totally get it and we get kind of coupled in with that. But there are just some of us that are just trying to, you know, get to work without having to take the subway. And I feel like we're also ambassadors of the PEV community. So I'm going to continue to try and leave positive experiences with those that don't understand. And I'm going to continue 2023 trying to be an understanding person as well. And I'm just going to try not to let things like that ruin my day and ruin my PEV experience here in New York City. Because at the end of the day, they give you a plate of shit and you don't accept it. They're stuck with that plate of shit. And I am completely okay with leaving those type of people with poop in their hands. So other than that, once again, thank you for accompanying me. It was a pleasure having you today and I'll see you on the next ride. Peace everyone.